So today we're playing the Berserker and we're going to be playing one of the best S plus build combos for the Berserker which is the Falcon Blade, Anvil, Magic Torch and we may just find King Gubert along the way and we add King Gubert to our backpack. As long as we have one mana here we should be good because we're going to be scaling for damage. That is the only buff we care about here. And literally insane damage. But hey, check this run out and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and jump some rank games with the Berserker and scene and just what we can do. Actually awesome. Gonna be taking all these items on sale. Actually, literally the items I love. Taking out the very beginning. So I'm gonna roll. Goobert, we could go for Steel Goobert here. We do need to find a weapon, so unfortunately I'm gonna roll here again. Because I do want to sweat stone butts. We definitely just need that weapon. So we're gonna have to take the broom. I do want this gloves, but I'm not actually gonna go gloves of or Claws of Attack, I mean. I'm gonna keep this for Falcon Blade. So unfortunately, not getting that whetstone here could be a bit of a detriment. However, we're gonna begin a Ranger with a hammer. If they get that big crit, we could be in big trouble. That Bat Rage here, keeping us alive. That Banana and Regen, yeah. Amazing here, taking up enough just to keep us alive. Okay, so we're gonna take this for now. I do want that Regen, but we need to roll here. Honestly, Hell Pot is going to be amazing. We definitely need this though as well. Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks, now let's get back to the video. Okay, so I might actually sell the broom then. And take the Hell Pot. Don't want to craft up a strong Hell Pot though. Okay, and we're going to have our setup like this. We're going to be crafting up the torch, we're going to have our gloves, target a banana and our wooden sword. And yeah! Let's add back in our little forging hammer that could. Actually, switch it down here so it's in our forging hammer. In our duffel bag as well, and let's continue on. Looking to craft up a magic torch, we have... We just need blueberries. We do need two whetstones though, and another wooden sword. And one more, goes a haste to target a... Or to get a falcon blade as well. We're going to go on a magic torch, falcon blade, anvil here. Going to be trying to do... Probably one of the best spells for the Berserker right now. We'll see though. We are going to be able to outpace this Berserker. Yeah, especially because of that help pot. Super, super amazing here. Okay, so we're going to take the whetstone. We're also going to take this wooden sword. And I'm actually going to roll here. I'm going to roll again. Once more. Okay, so we actually got the whetstone. We're going to be taking this here. And we're going to be slotted in like this. Yeah, that should be pretty good. And we're going to save that one extra gold. We could have added our forging hammer in, but I'm not going to do it here. We're going to craft another hero sword next round. We should have a lot of damage with our torch and our hero long sword. Our hero sword, not hero long sword. But yeah, this pyromancer here, super sad to be seeing pyromancers early on because they have so much really, really awesome weapons here. That burning torch. Really, really awesome weapon here. So we do lose a life here, unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to craft up that mana potion. And we have enough gold here. Actually craft up that hero sword as well. Which is just going to be straight amazing. As for our best setup right now. Honestly, probably... Our best setup is probably something like this. Burning torch, not a burning torch. Torch in our duffel bag. Being targeted by our Gloves of Haste. And a banana. Yeah, so we continue on. We do need a box of riches. We do need another pair of gloves. We do need the anvil. And we should be good to go. We'll see though. Reaper here with that Capitalins keeping him alive. They stack up that poison, but... The help pot takes that poison away. Really, really awesome here. Keeping our lives going super, super fantastic. Okay. We could take leather boots, that is a crafted item. Well, we could craft it up. But not going. Actually, that's just straight nuts. Literally straight nuts. Definitely getting a falcon blade this round. With that being, I'm actually going to take a leather bag then, since we have the room for it. Now we could take a crypto crystal. Actually, I might actually hold on to it. Because if we do find one of those helmets, then we can literally craft it into a capital scumbird. Again, facing another Pyromancer, they're going to have a lot of damage. They have a lot of weapons. 
So we could be in a lot of trouble here. Our DPS here is not that great till the next one. Yeah, unfortunately, these pyromancers do way too much right now for us. Okay, so we got Falcon Blade. We got a Magic Torch. And honestly, Mana Orb on top. Really awesome. I'm going to take the Crypt the Crystal. We could also take this, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it right now. I'm going to roll here a little bit. I'm actually going to take this because this is going to be crafted up into a Pot, which we can use on our Anvil. And I also want this as well. That being said, I'm actually going to put this over here. Slot this down a little bit so we can have our Banana in for our Stamina. And yeah, we have scaling. We should have a lot of damage right now. A, a lot of damage. Compared to our opponents. They're going to have a good bit of damage, but they're not going to have as much damage as we have. With that Falcon Blade, that scaling damage with a Magic Torch. Smashing. We got the dream set up right now. Okay. So we got a ton of storage. Might as well craft out that Dragon Scale Armor. I should move that over so we can have this crafted up like this. And honestly, I'm going to actually take the Stamina Sack as well, because we are going to need that Stamina. We're going to look to craft up a second Dragon Skull Armor. We do need a Box of Riches as well to start getting gemstones. Or even a Lump of Coal to craft up a Burning Coal. We'll see though. We're facing another Pyromancer. How many Pyromancers is that? But this time, we're a lot stronger. Yeah. And we got our life back. Now we get to choose our subclass. Which we are going to go Blacksmith here. We're going to take a Stamina Sack. I'm actually going to take the Coal because we can craft up that Burning Coal. And actually... I'm going to take these boots as well. Not something I like to take too much, but I will be taking it for now. Just in case you come across any Pyromancers. They're playing Cryomancer. And we're going to be sorting our inventory. We'll be back in a second while we do that. Okay, so we actually have four crafted items, which is actually really, really awesome. Can't exactly fit the banana in. If you want a crafted item, actually we could... Switch it over to be like this, yeah. Much, much better. And let's continue on. We have our anvil, set up, magic, our mana orb targeting our magic torch. Anvil here targeting our falcon blade, which is just going to be a big burst of damage straight away. Which the falcon blade uses it twice as well as any other weapon. Because the falcon blade attacks twice. To get a big flat damage. Smashing damage. And actually, we're going to be taking this cap. We're going to be crafting over the cap discomfort. And honestly, I would love one of these, but I'm going to roll here. Box of riches. Yeah, we're going to take it. We're going to have to take it here. And we have another crafted item. Switch this to this side, so when that crafts up there, we have another crafted item. And now we're just waiting on one third slot here. So let's continue on. We'll see if this is going to be enough. And our turn Locklifter got actually buffed, so this could actually be quite crazy. They are going to have a lot of healing. Especially with a lot of weapons, but... I don't think it's going to be enough, yeah. The anvil is just... Super... Super awesome here. Definitely one of my favorite classes for the Berserker. Okay. So we've got a couple of options here. I do want to go Spike Collar into Flawed Amethyst. But also taking the Gloves of Haste as well. So we're going to take the Spike Collar. Now, do we take this? Do we even take Blueberries here? I think we actually roll. I think we leave the Gloves. Okay, I actually do want these, and we probably should have took the blueberries. Yeah. Slot that in. Now, do we want to heat, or do we want to cleanse random debuffs? Actually, let's keep it in our Falcon Blade to be removing buffs. Because if you 30% chance per hit. Also, based on regeneration, we're going to be keeping, and... Yeah, we're hoping to get this Glowing Crown in as well, because we get that in vulnerability. Once we stack up the mana. However, this is going to be a big burst explosion of poison. With spikes, so hopefully we can outpace him here. It's going to be a lot of damage very quickly. And unfortunately, barely. I thought we were going to lose there. 2 HP. And a dream. So, going to be selling our flame here. I'm actually going to be adding this into our backpack. And it will actually be taking this here. Now we could craft up a King's Goobert. Actually, should we go King Goobert here? We have the actual thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. If we were to craft it up right now. We would have to lose some value on our anvil. Is that something we're okay with? 
Not particularly. But we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, we probably needed <laughs> our full anvils, full anvils use here. Because this is smashing damage. Actually, no, we didn't. Really, really awesome. And now we have that King's Crown right now. Which is going to be straight amazing. It's going to be keeping our buffs. But we are going to craft up good old King over here. We're going to have to take this gemstone because we're not going to be able to see any more gemstones. And we're going to roll here another King's Crown. We should probably go for We just need a bunch of storage right now. Okay, so we managed to get her set up to be like this. We got full use on our anvil right now. We have our potion in our potion balls. And we're crafting up that King Gubert right now. So we'll see how this goes. We're probably going to try to slot King Gubert in. Definitely beside our Falcon Blade here. But it's going to be so much healing. It's going to be nuts. We also want to find those cheese. We are going to begin the Chieftain Deerwood Guardian. Can we outpace him here? We haven't been in Battle Rage yet. We've put them in the Battle Rage. But now we're in Battle Rage. They are stacking up their buffs, but their Battle Rage has ended. Yeah, actually just smashing here. And we survived with four lives left. This is why I love the anvil. But we're going to get King Gobert, so we're going to continue on. And we're going to see just how good it can be. Okay, so we managed to change our setup completely around here. We did lose the value of our potion bolts with our strong health potion, but... Honestly, this is the best setup that we could actually have for our King Gobert here. So what items are we going to want here? Most likely another glowing crown. Jin's Lamp, super fast trigger speeds, and possibly a blueberry. So, we'll see. I'm gonna roll first. Definitely gonna be taking a funny back. Let's roll again. Cheese could potentially be one item that we could use here. Definitely take another funny back. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna start a forging hammer then. And we're gonna take a. We're gonna take a big old banana. And yeah, we're gonna have our setup to be like this. Man Orb, not the best trigger for our Gubert, but it's going to have to do for now. Let's go ahead and see. This should keep us alive. If we stack up enough mana, we do get that invulnerability up to three times. It's going to be amazing. Especially going to this burst. Hammer Dagger Burst Bolt. We should be able to out-sustain him here with King Gubert. Yeah, amazing here. Really, really awesome here. And we actually got that Blueberries, which I'm going to be taking here. Also, we should... What am I doing? We should be having this in our helmets here. Let's actually craft it up so our opponent's healing is completely non-existent. So I actually do want to find this box of riches. And literally, definitely 100% worth it here. Definitely. We're going to be taking this. We're going to slam that in so we can have our cheese slotted in here. Actually, let's move this down. Can we move this down? Yeah, we can. And yeah, we're going to have our cheese in two funny bags with a blueberry as well. Really, really awesome. We're going to be taking this and we're going to be taking a spike collar. This perfect sapphire is just going to be nuts. Now, we could have it in our King Gobert, getting that 50% increased from it. Or we could just have it in our Falcon Blade here and actually be trying to inflict a lot of cold. Possibly might be better actually in our Falcon Blade. But we should reduce our opponent's healing by quite a bit, having these two in our helmets, in King Gobert's helmet, while also giving us a ton of healing. Especially with the Falcon Blade, the Falcon Blade is amazing, because it triggers twice as fast. And yeah, even beating the Tarmup, not Tarmup, Blood Tarn, Burning Banner build. And that is a very, very late rainbow batch. Well, let's take it, let's amplify our healing then as well. And yeah, gonna sell that little flame, let's add this in and... That's going to be this round. We don't exactly generate up too much mana, so it's honestly better to actually have it in our Falcon Blade. Yeah, we're going to be trying to inflict a bunch of cold, so we'll see. We have the potential to inflict two cold every round, or every time the Falcon Blade hits, which is just amazing. We get that invulnerability. Actually, we did stack up quite a bit of mana. Still going. We get that invulnerability again if we stack up that mana. Yeah. Actually, not, but honestly, so far we're just getting shredded here because of our stamina. It's going to come down to where, though. Actually, we passed them out here. Insane. I just want to see how much healing good old King Gubert is doing. King Gubert is healing for 12 per second. Pretty amazing, but we're keeping our lives here. Really, really awesome. I do want another Cap Resilience though as well. We'll take this. Stamina's a bit of an issue, so I do want this too. 
We take this, we can't exactly put it in. So we're gonna sell this little gemstone and roll ones. Definitely take a another funny bag. Also this stone skin potion because I do want to craft up that stone helmet here. Yeah, we're gonna take out actually we could take out two flames here. And have our box riches back in just in case we get another gemstone here. So we'll see. We're gonna begin a shaman berserker with that chain whip. They're gonna be stacking up a ton of buffs, gonna be removing our buffs. As long as we have one mana here, we should be good. Because we're going to be scaling for damage. That is the only buff we care about here. And literally, insane damage. Crazy, crazy build. Okay. Let's take the bunny back for now. Let's go ahead and increase our stamina usage by putting on our weapons. Let's add the mana back in. Get a little bit of armor. Let's go ahead and take this pot as well. Craft up that stone helmet. And yeah. Take this as well. Let's roll once. Actually. Amazing. And I'm going to be taking Jin Slam in the final round. And we're going to be slotting it in here. We're not actually going to be slotting it on our weapons. We're going to be putting it on this side. Because this is going to be fast trigger speed. It is every two seconds. Fantastic for our King Goober tier. It keeps alive. Stacking up that HP. Giving us a ton of healing because it's going to be much, much better than one banana doing every four and a half seconds. So basically, it's going to have double the output. So we'll see. We should be able to protect our buffs. With King Gubert. But our opponent here is smashes down a good bit. It is the Blood Thorn. Fatigue sets in. Are we going to be able to outpace him here? Actually, no. This time, we're not able to take out this Pyromancer with the Blood Thorn. They just had way too much buffs, way too much healing. But still, put up a good fight. Okay. Vampirism is a good shout here as well. Vampirism is really awesome. We could also take this. Yeah, let's actually take this. Or we just take Jin's Lamp here. We're going Vampirism anyway. We definitely want Jin's Lamp, so we're going to sell this and we're going to take Jin's Lamp. The Jin's Lamp is going to sit down there. And can we sell four things? We're going to sell some flames. We probably should have kept the flames, but we definitely want to be inflicting that frost. Actually, what we should have sold is this. We'll sell it now. And we could settle for a another mana orb at the very end, but I don't think we're going to take it. We're going to settle with this. We should have a high chance to inflict that frost. We'll also attack and throw armor, so if we come across anybody with armor, our Falcon Blade is just going to smash through here. We have the Vampirism. Which is going to be amazing. We're actually going to add a banana down here. So we get an extra trigger on our mana orb. Chin Slam to be in here with a King Gubert. King Gubert. Keep us alive. Healing us up. As we do our damage and flick that frost. Just nuts. Honestly, just nuts. And yeah. The setup came together quite nice. Falcon. Blade. Magic Torch. Definitely a nice tier build. So we'll see. Actually, this could be a massive counter. Tarn Bloom. Card Gubert. Into Army of Squirrels stealing all our buffs. As long as they don't steal our mana buff, we should be good to go. Although that spike stacking is going to be quite scary. We do have Battle Rage now though. They are doing massive damage. Can we outpace them here? Actually, no. Just not here at the very end. Super, super unfortunate, but... That was a crazy build. Crazy, crazy build. We survived three lives left though, and we managed to get 13 rank points. Really, really awesome. Definitely way to get a lot stronger towards the end, but we wanted to get that King Goober trial King Goober, and actually, it was pretty good. Can't lie. But anyways, gonna leave it here for now. Just want to say thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope to keep a lookout for the next one. See you next time.